now on to the next one, Daniel. What would you like to talk about? (laughs) Well, I'm going to talk about one. I'm going to leave some of the details out. Oh, okay. um, Because it happened in Montreal, but I don't want to divulge all the details. Oh, we're talking about this. I'm going to keep it. Okay, I'll let you tell it. I'll let you tell it. Yeah. Let me tell it because I'm going to leave out okay. certain parts. Um, just <laughs> for, you know. You know, it's funny, you guys. Certain sakes. Because yesterday we were talking about doing this podcast and I was like, Daniel, should we tell the story mm-hmm. about Montreal? And you're like, no. So I'm shocked that you want to tell it. But I, I will let you tell it in your own special way, Daniel. Words. Yeah. Um, well, I do have a way with words, you, you know. Do. So I'll just And this is uh, a good story because right it was it. you and I together. It is. It was. It was the two yes. of us. So me and Rose decided, as we do, we were like, we want to go on a little holiday. Let's go to Montreal. Um, I can't know. You were going to that. Um, I was doing a, that, like a French program for French, five weeks in yeah. Quebec, somewhere yeah. in Quebec province. So before Katimavik that. Katimavik or something. Uh, it wasn't Katimavik. It was uh, called My Explore. It's a Canadian government run program where basically they send you to oh, yeah. a certain university to learn French for five weeks. And because French, I already have yeah. experience with French, I decided to do that. And plus, it's just like a fun experience. Anyway, so before that, yeah. I decided, anyway. okay, we should all go to Montreal um, and then, you know, yeah. have some fun there. Yeah. So basically, I was like, cool, great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I... Um, Flew out and I did. I, and I met Rose on the. It was like on a Tuesday, so we, we get there on a Tuesday, Tuesday night. And we're like, you know what? This isn't Calgary. We're in Montreal. They've got a big nightlife here. Like there is going to be stuff going down every night of the week. And we were like super, super young as well. So we're like, let's go ask the lady that works at the hotel like where to go tonight because we have no idea, right? So we go down there and we're like, oh, um, so we're really, you know, we're we want to go out tonight, have a good night. Um, where would you recommend? And she's like, oh, you should definitely check out this nightclub. Um, it's called. It was called like Fufu Electronique or something. Fufu Electrique, I think. Electrique, I think. yeah. Something uh-huh. like this. And I was like, yeah. So, I don't even know Fufu. if it's still around. But, um, <laughs> Fufu. And we were like, she was like, yeah, there's like multiple levels and like they're all playing different types of music. There's like hip hop and R&B and pop music. And me and you were, me and Rose were both just like, oh, that's amazing. Let's go. Done. And we dressed so, up to I'm the nines, sh- didn't we, Daniel? Yeah, we like we like dressed up like Rose was wearing her like beautiful floral dress. I was wearing like a dress shirt. We like looked good to go yeah. out and pretty, pretty sure we like also polished off a bottle of wine before we left the house <laughs> or something. Yep. Um, just to kind of get the get the juices flowing. Just get the juices so flowing. We fi- yeah. So we show we, f- we we show up at this club. Fufu Electric. Mm-hmm. Fufu. Um, and we get there. And little did we know. That first of all, it was like the only place that was open on the Tuesday. Cause every, remember we walked there from part like from the t- train station yeah. and it was like every, it was like raining and a lot of places yeah. were closed. Nowhere was like bumping. So we finally get to this place and we're like, Hey, we have no other options. We have to go here. We get in and it's like heavy metal night. <laughs> like <laughs> everything, we go, we go there were the no door. multiple rooms. It was all heavy metal. Exactly. There was like, at one point there was like a huge mosh pit of people like <laughs> head banging and stuff. And me and Rose are like dressed up to go for like a, a nice night we out. We thought we were going to a club. Uh, yeah. Like a hip hop club exactly. or something. And, <laughs> exactly. And we like walk in and everyone like stares at us because they're all like in like metal t-shirts and like all this stuff. And me and Rose are just like, what did we walk into? We're like, let's just go to the bar. We'll have a drink and then we'll go. So we get to the bar <laughs> and little did we know that they had a very, very good drink special on that evening. It was, I think, $5. I could be wrong. It was like five, yeah, $5 for a massive pitcher of beer. Oh God. So we're like, we'll take two, <laughs> <laughs> one each <laughs> as you do. As we do. So I just remember we started drinking, we started drinking more. And then I remember at one point we were in like the, um, like kind of like just in the outdoor yeah. area, like there was like a little terrace or whatever. And I looked over and you were chatting with some people and I was chatting with some people. And I just remember being like, what are we doing? We were like separate. We, doing, we were on know? the other side of each other's, like like you were in one side of the terrace and I was on the other side. And yeah. I remember us like waving at each just, other. Yeah, we were just socializing like, with all these different people. I remember talking politics. Exactly. It was, it was funny. Oh yeah, we were. It, it was fun. I mean, it was, a, it was an interesting night. And then I just remember I like very much um, like blacked out. Did you actually black out that um, night? Yeah, yeah. I don't really remember okay. the taxi ride. Oh, home, okay. if I'm honest. <laughs> so then we had. Th- so then. So, so at the end of the night. Anyway, we're, we're so, taking okay. Here's the thing. At the end, end of the, the night, night I was like relatively okay. Like I was drunk, but I was like you know coherent. Yeah. And Daniel was yeah, very you were my very level. drunk. Yes. So yeah. I was like Daniel, we need to leave. And yeah. So we, we hailed like, a cab. No, I don't want to go. And then what happened, Daniel? <laughs> we hailed a cab. And then what happened? 
So then we hailed a cab and some random guy jumped in the taxi <laughs> with us because I think I had told him that we were going to an after party or doing something. Yeah. I don't really know. But anyway, so he jumps in the taxi with us and we all go back to our hotel, which was like really far out of Montreal. It was like in a it place It wasn't called, really um, far, but it was like uh, slightly out of Montreal. So it was like, a, like on yeah, the outskirts. Like out- yeah. So anyway, this guy jumps in the taxi. We get back and I literally just pass out and leave poor <laughs> okay. Rose to deal with this guy to kick him out of the... This guy, first of all, um, he, like, I had not spoken to... I, I think, like, Daniel and him were just talking, whatever. And, like, he was yeah. making friends or whatever. And I had not spoken to this guy yet because we were all kind of doing our own thing, apparently, during this night. So I was talking to some other people yeah. and then Daniel was talking to some other people. And then this guy, I guess, was one of the guys that Daniel was talking to. And then he just decided to jump into a mm-hmm. cab with us because maybe he thought there was an after party. And then he got into this cab yeah. and then he started, like, <laughs> hitting on me. <laughs> and i was like uh and i was like not i was like uh what is happening (laughs) and the daniel was just so "Uh." wasted that he did not even realize what was happening yeah i was just so So then we got to our hotel and then what happened daniel you passed out and then i basically (laughs) just passed i passed out of my bed and rose had to kick this guy out he didn't want to leave he did not want to leave he just wanted to stay he's like can i just sleep here i was like no (laughs) Yeah, he's like, can I just sleep in this room? We're like, we, Rose is like, I don't, we don't know, like, I don't know you, like, yeah. you need to leave. And he was being creepy, like, so I was like, I'm not gonna let you sleep in this room yeah. when you're being creepy. <laughs> exactly. So anyway, she poor Rose had to kick this guy out. So anyway, he it left. took like an hour to kick this Ro- guy out while Daniel was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Rose, Rose is like, oh, finally, you know, I can go to bed, relax. <laughs> so Rose, Rose lays down, and all of a sudden, maybe like an hour later, I don't know how long, but it was in the middle of the night. All of a sudden, Rose is awakened to the sounds of what sounds like some kind of seal noises or something <laughs> coming from the coming from the room. And as these noises are projecting, Rose is just like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? She looks over and I'm not on my bed. Somehow I had rolled off the bed, got myself tangled in my blanket, <laughs> was face down on the floor, dry heaving. <laughs> And I was stuck in my blanket. I was like wedged oh my in my blanket. Like I couldn't this move. This does not get old. And I, I know. And I remember just being stuck. And my face was literally like, I was like face down on the floor. And I was like rolled up like a little sardine or something. And I was going. <laughs> Do you remember this? <gasps> yeah. Well, and then Rose was like, Daniel, you, if you're going to be sick, you need to go to the bathroom. Like, and I was like, oh, God. Oh, you're like, my no, God. Daniel, seriously. <laughs> It was, and I was so hung over the next day. Do yes, you and we were like doing a tour uh, of Montreal, and Daniel was so oh hung over. I remember we went to this tea house. Like, it was like a very nice yeah. kind of Chinese or Japanese Fancy. tea house. And Daniel's like, I have yeah. to run to the bathroom, and he projectile vomited in the Chinese tea house. <laughs> yeah, I literally th- I threw up in more bathrooms in Montreal than I could probably count on oh my hand God. that day. <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, that's so f- that story never gets old. I swear to god that night I know, is forever imprinted one. in our memory. 